Welcome, CoinOps fans. This is Pixel Freak from the CoinOps Project Discord server brief. I'm going to get kind of quiet here, but showing off what looks like to be the release to manufacturer version, most likely here at the end of the beta testing of CoinOps Legends 3 and Legends 3 Max. Both of these are PC based, obviously, as you see me running around here looking at this video that's been provided. Um, also, you'll notice that there are five executables in each. Um, these are the full catalog of games with the Pac-Man. These are the micro versions with the smaller curated versions, all with the playlists. Um, the playlists have been reordered, day-night mode. There are playlist characters that appear, many, many improvements, uh, as well as the increased game count. So I'm going to get a little more quiet, just show you around, pay attention, though. If I do anything here on the left, it's with the Legends 3 version. If I do anything here on the right, that's the Legends 3 Max version. Looking at the emulators, Legends 3 is MAME only. Max has much more to offer, obviously, um, as it is the Max version. I'm going to start off in the all playlists of Legends 3 so that we can look around. I'll show you uh, day-night mode, uh, where to find the themes, the settings, GUI, etc. Um, this is going to be very fast just to show off some of the improvements. Going from top down, it's been reordered from all games, arcades, consoles, favorites last played then the genres and i know that by now some of you are already stopping with the screen uh freeze or pausing just to see what the total counts are on the bottom right also speaking of the bottom right take a look now that i've gone through all the genres to include the newest racer sports and puzzler to be included with the other five the settings gui look down at the bottom right you see a sun it's because we're in day mode i'm going to show you a quick uh let's see here I always like, let's see, 1941. This is day mode, which are used with the legendary bezels, instruction cards, bright uh, visuals on the side bezels there. This is a vertical style game. You've got the glass effects scuffed default. All right, so this is what day mode looks like. Now let's go into the settings here. Let's switch it over to night mode. You'll know it's in night mode by the bottom right. You actually get the moon to indicate that you're in night mode. It will put a dark vignette. Actually, let's go back so that it is a one-to-one -one comparison. Let's go back to the last played. Darkened vignette, glowing CRT, no glass effects. This is the night mode. There are other bezel changes and other effects that can be changed in the advanced configs, but these are the modes which are different. All right, see how it glows a little bit more? No glass effects, darkened vignette around the legendary bezels. Little bit more glow there. So, also take a look at the playlist characters that auto hide as you scroll through. Settings menu will show you the cabinets fast, legendary, marquee, muted, spin, vertical, and wheel themes. Because there's actual videos of these, I'm not going to sit here and waste time in the video to shift through each and every one. That's the beauty of the settings GUI with the snaps included. You can visually see what each of these names mean. And of course, they're all available in the advanced configurations folder. I tend to use fast because I like that it scrolls without changing the video on each change behind. Puzzler Sports and Racer were added uh, to complement the other five. Shoot 'em up, Fight Club, Run Again, Beat 'em up, and Old School, which always exist. Last played caps out at 10. Favorites is pre-populated at 75. You can wipe it out or remove using the start button to toggle favorites. Consoles arcades are now at the top of the list for the playlists, along with all games. I'm gonna duck out of there. Switch over to Legends Remax. Again, uh, one would say that I probably talking a little too much since this is just a brief preview and i'll do a more in-depth later look at the total number of games in max 745 day mode same settings menu same genres again i use the executable that shows all of them consoles has a lot more to offer because it's not just mame only Game and Watch. NES. 
64. And of course, it's not just consoles that were improved upon. The arcade games have significant improvements as well. When I say improvements, much more content added with these wonderful legendary bezels. Just as fast, if not faster. Continued improvements in speed. That's going by letter by letter. Game by game. Some of the hang time games that have always been asked for. All now making the legendary cut. Of course, there's always the advanced configs. Understand, I'm going to show you also using one of the smaller. Uh, this one would just be all arcade console fave last and settings. Settings can be disabled. That's why it's also not listed in these, but settings is on by default and all is included in all of these. So one other thing in the advanced configs, you'll see 41 in the max, but you'll only see 39 in standard. Well, why is that? You scroll down here. Look here. Super Mario 64 is default retro arch. I'm going to switch it over to the HD widescreen PC version that's included. Understanding by doing that, it will start up slightly different. So be patient. Also, if anybody has a problem running Ultra Street Fighter 4, most folks know not only do you have to have an exclusion, but if it comes in window mode the first time, Alt Enter will force it into full screen mode from that point on. But the point of jumping in here, look, Nintendo games, NES originals. I switched this over to the PC version. So of course you see in the background, it's going to have a different startup. It needs a second to get going. It's me, Mario. That's why there's no bezels. It's 16 by nine, full HD, widescreen, the PC hack. Compare that to the default version. And again, N64 emulator. Let's even go to a shorter, smaller amount of playlists. Just all favorites last in settings, right? And this is what will come as default. Beautiful Legends Bezel. It's me, Mario. Or in retro Hello. arc. All right. So again, this is just meant to show off that it's close. Show those that are good at stopping the screen to see some of the uh, numbers that are coming out. And when I say numbers, you know, 745 in the all game smacks right now. It may not be exact, uh, but it's very close to release documentation and further bug testing. Otherwise, you'll see it soon. Join the Decoin Ops Project Discord server. Have all your questions asked. Um, and so that we can help you out, just join up, be cool, and uh, enjoy the retro games. And uh, I'll see you there on the Discord server.